The greatest gift I think I've given myself this year is the gift of self-forgiveness, which in turn, the gift of self-awareness. I mean, all the things that I'm able to create have, been, have come from that. And Larissa, you're someone who is very similar to me. We lead with our awareness of ourselves, the wrongdoings, the past, the guilt, whatever it is, we lead with that in our business. So with you who works with organizations and teams and, and, and helps that, what's that conversation around getting people on a team to lead with their self-awareness and their self-forgiveness as they move forward? Yeah, it's so funny because I've been doing a lot. I mean, I've been doing a lot of this anyway, but a whole lot um, this month as we're, we're closing out 2020. And what's so funny is that a lot of people think of like self-development work and self-awareness work as sort of like a fluffy add-on or when we're bringing it into companies, it's when there's already a problem. And this may not be like the super sexy way to look at it. And it's not that I don't want people to be happy at work. I do. But ultimately what I'm doing and coming in with this is helping create greater efficiencies. Because honestly, if you understand yourself and the people that you work with understand themselves and everyone understands the impact that they have on each other, you are instantly more efficient in whatever it is that you're doing. Communication gets better decision-making gets better, commitment, people get into conflict in more healthy ways. It's just, everything's easier. Um, so yeah, it's all about people efficiency. <laughs> and the byproduct is we're happier. Our mental health is better. Um, we're healthier, right? And in that understanding of who we are, we also can understand who we are as a company and who we are as a culture and really add to that. 